This weekend is the premiere of Avengers Infinity War, Marvel's big, all-hands-on-deck superhero blockbuster. To celebrate, I'm going to teach you the hairstyles from three of my favorite heroines in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Gamora, Valkyrie, and Shuri. This is a Patreon-requested video, so if you like this tutorial, make sure to give them a thanks. Now let's dive into it. First up is Gamora's hairstyle from the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. This isn't the braids that baby Gamora wore in Infinity War, because I filmed this before anyone knew what those were, but I'll do that style eventually too in the near future. This look is a pretty quick one to do. Start by grabbing a chunk of hair on the side of your head, but don't take any hair from further back than your ears. Spritz this section with some texture spray. We'll need the hair to have more grip in a little bit. The texture spray and all the other products I'm using in this video can be seen listed in the description box below. Now twist up this section of hair and drape it to the back of your head. Clip it there for now. Repeat on the other side of your head, grabbing a large side section of hair from in front of your ears, spraying with texture spray, and twisting it towards the back of your head. Now that both of those twists are back there, use a small hair elastic and tie them together. The next step is to volumize these twists. Specifically, pinch tiny little bits of hair in the twist and tug them out of the twist a little bit. Doing this all over the twist will make it look larger and fluffier. The texture spray we used earlier helps the twists not fall apart while doing this. Without it, slippery hair can be loosened in this way or it may droop and fall out. When your twists are as big as you'd like them, it's time to start on the accent braid portion of the style. Grab a small section of hair from behind your left ear. You can twist, rope braid, or English braid this section. I'm choosing to English braid it because small three strand braids like this are good at holding themselves together without the aid of a hair tie at the end of the braid. Whichever way you choose for this accent, do it all the way to the ends of the hair. Then grab a couple small hair beads. Slide these onto your braid, spaced out by four or five inches. This is also a reason I like using an English braid pattern for this accent. English braids keep beads in place a little bit easier than flat hair does. After that, you have your easygoing Gamora half-up twists with braided accent detail. Style number two is Valkyrie from Thor Ragnarok. I have a serious crush on Tessa Thompson, so I love this look especially. Start by sectioning off the hair on top of your head. Draw two parts through your hair, each one approximately aligned with the outside of your iris. Tie the rest of your hair out of the way for now. Next, slather up your hands with some pomade to keep your hair smooth while you braid. Then pick up a thin strip of hair on top of your head along your forehead. Split this hair into three parts and begin French braiding towards the back of your head. As you go, add in only very small amounts of hair at a time. This ensures that the French braid is very tight and detailed. You may also want to get another dose of pomade when you're partway through the braid. Once you reach the back of your head, stop braiding. Find a hair tie or gilded string or something and start to tie a ponytail with this hair you were braiding. But instead of pulling the hair all the way through the hair tie like you normally would with a ponytail, Leave it as a small loop pointing upwards. Tie the rest of the hair tie around this loop so that the hair tie is tight. Lay the loop flat on top of your head and use bobby pins to keep it in place like that. The last step is to deal with the rest of your hair. Keep the tail of the braided hair out of the way and tie the rest of your hair into a tight ponytail midway up the back of your head. Then Valkyrie's twin ponytails have a lot of volume because her hair is naturally curly and textured. If your hair is thick or curly and you like the amount of volume you have back there, then you're good to go. My own hair is pretty thin and tired looking like this, so I'm teasing the underside of the upper ponytail to give it more oomph. With that, you have Valkyrie's warrior ponytail and top bun look. And finally, let's try out Shuri's twin braided buns. 
This will actually be a poor approximation of the real hairstyle since I don't have natural black hair. I'll link to some great black YouTubers who have done Black Panther tutorials more authentically. But as a female scientist myself, Shuri is my total love and I wanted to adapt this style with the caveat for you all that it's really not possible to completely recreate how awesome her braids are without hours and hours of braiding extensions into natural hair. If you have natural black hair and want to collab, hit me up. Anyways, I started this style by tying my hair into two high pigtails. You can tie them with hair ties like normal ponytails, or you can do the bobby pin and hair tie method that keeps your hair from getting pulled out by a hair tie as much. Attach two bobby pins to opposite sides of a large but thin hair elastic. Holding the ponytail with one hand, use the other to push one of the bobby pins into the base of the ponytail. Then wrap the elastic around the ponytail as tightly as possible. When you've stretched it around the ponytail as far as it'll go, push the second bobby pin into the base of the ponytail as well. This is a great alternative way of tying a ponytail if the other way pulls on your hair too much or if you can never get it to be the right tightness because two loops is too loose, but three loops is too tight. Once both the pigtails are up, split one ponytail into thirds. Then with each third, split it further into three more strands. I'm using clips to keep track of the smaller thirds here. For each one of these, turn it into an English braid, all the way to the ends. Braid up both pigtails like this. All told, this means I'm doing three sets of three braids on each side of my head, so 18 total. You can do even more braids if you want smaller ones, but remember that that will take a long time. Just these 18 braids took me about half an hour. So you can imagine how long it took to get Letitia Wright ready to play Shuri with all of those micro braids. When you're done with all of those, Separate them again into thirds. Treat each of these thirds as one strand in another bigger English braid. Then wrap up this braided braid into a bun on top of the pigtail base. Use bobby pins to set it in place and secure it to your head. Braid up the braids in your other ponytail and also wrap it up into a bun. With bobby pins, pin the braid of braids in place. Once secured to your satisfaction, the style is all done. You guys have been awesome, thanks so much for watching. This video was requested by patrons on my Patreon page, so shout out to you guys as well. If you're interested in becoming a patron, not only do you get the satisfaction of helping this channel run, you also get to see tutorials before anyone else, video shout outs, and special requests for tutorials. I really appreciate all support everyone, see you again next time.